welcome back to another episode on the Healthy Wisdom Series with Dr. Jen Chen. Hey guys, today I am so excited to finish up our three-part series on the wisdom of choice. And we're going to talk about from start to finish. All right, it's so simple. Finish what you start. That's it. Finish what you start. But I can tell you that a lot of us, a lot of us, myself included, once in a, once upon a time in my life, you know, I may not have finished what I started. Not every single thing, but I say 90% of the time I have. But there have been times where, you know, maybe one or two things I did not finish. For example, uh, skating. <laughs> but anyways, that's not the focus of today. Today, we're focusing on a really important concept. Finish what you start. And what I want you to remember is that how we finish is sometimes even more important than how we started. Right. A lot of people will tend to only focus on, you know, sort of the 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 barriers, the challenges, the setbacks that they face. And then, you know what? They quit. But, you know, if you focus on just pushing through, giving it your best shot, always giving 120 percent. And I cannot say this enough. Everything that it is that we do, we got to give it 120 percent before we quit. Right. Think about it this way. Think about it this way. You can always quit at any point in time. So why quit now? Why quit before you've given it your all, given it your best shot, given it like everything you've got to the last drop? That's that's how I have always approached every single thing that I have done in my life. And I got to say, it pays off. It really does. You know, I've talked about, you know, my piano experience totally paid off. Now I can teach piano as a backup. If I ever injure my shoulder as a chiropractor, I, I can always fall back and teach piano. It's like, why not? But that's not the point, you guys. Everything, if you put your mind to it, right? So we're tying all of this together, right? Have the right attitude. And if you put your mind to it and you commit to your decisions and, and, and then you always finish what you start, do you notice there's a pattern here? We are, we are actually working towards becoming not just the best version of ourselves, but a, a version that we can be proud of. You know, a version that represents excellence, you know, like it, it, and it doesn't matter how small it is, what it is that you are shooting to 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 accomplish. The key is to always finish what you start. And I, I literally I could say this like like so many times, but it is such an important concept and it is something that I I can I can attest to that a lot of people give up prematurely because here's the thing. Most of us focus on trying, trying, or they feel like they put their efforts, you know, um, and, and, and still it doesn't work out for them. Right. I mean, how many people do we know? whether it's our friends or family or people who are going through some tough times, you know? And here's the thing. If you have somebody in your life who is going through these struggles, support them as best you can, but continue to encourage them. And, you know, here's another thing. They should not be blindly pushing forth. If, if, if you continue to do the same thing, things over and over again, you keep thinking the same thoughts over and over again without making improvements and changes and 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 switching it up, you're you're not going to actually have any breakthroughs. Does that make sense? I mean, I know Einstein gets quoted all the time, you know, for the for the saying that insanity is literally thinking the same thoughts and doing the same things over and over again, expecting a different result to happen, correct? Well, same idea here. You know, when, when we are 
aiming to to do something that is perhaps different than what we've always done. And 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 if we only use the same methods that we've used before, or we've we've do we're doing things that we've the way we've always done them, well, you can't expect a different outcome to come from that, right? And so not only do you have to finish what you start, but you also have to make sure that when you are trying and if it's if there's something that's giving you feedback that this is not working, remember what we talked about last week about um, whether you are facing a setback or challenge or you're getting a no um, on your job um, interview or or your, your med school interview or your um, new position interview or your you know nomination for a certain position didn't go through well that's not a reflection of you but it is an indicator that maybe there is room for growth and room to change some method that you have used to get to where you are now so that you can get further and to the next level does that make sense you guys so it's really important for us to recognize that because if you quit prematurely, you're never going to see what the end result could be. And, you know, sometimes, you know, pushing through, pushing through and making sure that you are, you are, you are, you are getting to that goal that you've set for yourself or what it is with that job or that, or that family or that relationship that you are, you are, you are going for, you, you got to keep keep your eye on the prize so that you can actually finish get to the finish line you know i i mean you know we we watch most olympians they they will continue to finish the race even if they are the last to get in and that is i believe one of the most important things we can do for ourselves because it shows us within us that we can finish something and we can take something from start to finish. And it's a, it's a, it, it creates a sense of, you know, um, that, that self assurance that you can finish something that you, that you are able to, um, even with no recognition, um, at the podium, even if you, there's nobody, you know, patting you on the back saying, great job. You know what? You can give yourself the very least effort of at least finishing and and or getting to that finish line i uh, i think that is a very important attitude for us to also keep in mind and, and and continue to work on you know like here's the thing here's the thing everything that we've talked about in this past series it's a work in progress don't expect yourself to just change overnight right sometimes we just need to be reminded of what it is that we can do to get to get better right you know that's that's part of life um a lot of times you know life life will keep happening you know the seasons continue to change you know the weather you know sometimes it's rainy sometimes it's sunny right so no matter what it is that's happening outside of us we have to make that commitment to ourselves that we're going to see things through and and like I said, it really does pay off. Um, I I just cannot I just cannot stress this enough. It is this the, the the these these three qualities that I've talked about in making the right choices for you, your attitude, your sense of commitment, you know, and 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 uh, giving it 120 percent and seeing things to the finish line. These are actually, I think really important principles that if we learn to apply it in any situation in our lives, small or big, I, I know, I know that we will succeed in whatever it is that we endeavor to succeed at, you know, and honestly, like, I really, I really, really um, feel that um, we can, we can, we can definitely share this 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 piece that is so valuable and and continue to empower those around us that that they can accomplish 
And even if they do have temporary setbacks or challenges, you know, one of the sayings that I really love um, by one of my teachers, Mr. Les Brown, is that a setback is a um, is a uh, oh my God, what was it? A setback is a is a setting for your comeback. It's a setup for your comeback. That's what it is. I was like, oh, how did how did he play on the words? It was so cool. When he first said that, I remember going, wow, that's a that's a great way to think about it. A setback is a setup for your comeback. I mean, how cool is that? Seriously, you know? So no matter what type of adversity you're facing right now, just remember, give it 120%, change it up, keep pivoting, keep, keep you know, switching things up so that you can actually, you know, attempt the same thing, but using a slightly different method and a slightly different technique to get to the, to the, to the potential breakthrough so that you can actually succeed in the end. I find that um, in life, we all have to be creative and we all have to be um, well equipped with the little tips and tricks, you know, and I certainly hope that this series has provided you guys with some little tips and tricks and, and maybe one or two tools, you know, that we can tweak, you know, in the way we do things, the way we think about things. All right, Healthy Wisdomers, it has been a pleasure to share another episode with you guys. And please take a minute to subscribe, follow, and rate this episode so that we can share all this wisdom. And let's invite everybody to join us on this journey. This is the Healthy Wisdom Series with Dr. Jen Chen. I'll catch you guys next week.